And we have returned. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. That was Heavy Hitters off of the Final Fight 3 soundtrack. And uh, yeah, welcome back to the stream. Now, I know I said yesterday that I was probably going to carry on with some Fallout, but um, I have been obsessively thinking about Kenji, even though I played like five hours of it last night. Holy crap, I don't know why I was up so late playing it. But um, I don't know. I just feel like really getting back. Now, there is a slight practical reason why, because... I am going to have to stop at some point because I've got some stuff I need to do to get ready for tomorrow and later on this evening and stuff like that, so, you know. And I feel like it's going to, of course, you know, I'm saying this now after playing it for five freaking hours last night, streaming it for five hours last night, but I can probably stop this in the middle of doing something a lot sooner than I can Fallout. I've I maybe got like two hours or so, I don't know, we'll see. But let's not lie here, the main reason is I've been obsessively thinking about how this is going with Kenji, so. To the point where I actually did play a little bit of it this morning, or, well, let's be real, this afternoon, because I got to sleep very late last night, um, while I was in between doing other stuff, like housework and stuff. I'm like, eh, let's, let's have the lads make some armor and do some mining while I go do the dishes, that kind of thing. That's what I was doing, so. So a few things have gone down while I've been, while I was playing this earlier today. Not a lot, but a few. Um, so we'll get into the game, play a little bit more of it, and we'll see what the lay of the land is. I think I am just about ready to send everybody back over, well not everybody, but most people over to Bast and see if I can rebuild the place. Two of the mods I have downloaded specifically say that I should be able to do that. That that should be a thing I can do. Whether that works or not remains to be seen. We're going to have to check that out. We also have a new recruit. Because, um... While I was sending Boneshaw up to run some food to the slave I freed, um, Fade. We ran into a group of three slaves who had escaped, but for one, whatever reason, one reason or another, were just hanging out, like, over here somewhere. Nobody was bothering them. They weren't going anywhere. I unshackled... Who's this guy? Hand of the Tech Hunters, and he has a bounty on his head for some reason? How about that? The United Cities at that? Interesting. But anyway, like I was saying, so th there, were, there were three guys kind of hanging out here, and they were escaped slaves, but they were still shackled and stuff. So I unshackled all three of them. One just immediately buggered off, and he was like, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. The other one thanked me, but he didn't bother moving. He eventually wandered off, it seems. He's not here anywhere. And the third guy followed me until we were clear of the city. And that would be Fujin. So he's up here with Fade now, and they're mining this iron deposit. So they're, they're hiding up next to the old village here. And, um... Oh, Fujin is actually in the clear. He doesn't look like a slave anymore. He's not, um... Okay, and the heat has almost died down for Fade, too. Okay, perfect. That means Fujin... Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep him out here with Fade, regardless. Uh, we had some altercations with some skimmers, some slavers, um, some rebel farmers. That's why Skullfos is over there. Because somebody tried to eat him. But, um, overall, overall, we're, we're doing, we're doing okay. Slick has been steady belt making armor, so his armor smithing skills have increased quite dramatically, and our fortunes are increasing because of that. Um, he's kitted out everybody with new stuff, so he's got like a rag shirt and stuff. Everyone else I've just got set up with standard gi and things. And uh, Boneshaw himself has all this um, stuff now as well. I need to find better light and medium armor, though, because I know there's better stuff to wear than this. 
because most of this gives us no defense, but it will do for now. So anyway, I think the plan is we're going to hang out here for a little bit longer and then we're going to head on over to Bast. And we'll see if that works out. If it doesn't, I've got a couple other places in mind I wouldn't mind going. For a start, I want to see if I can make enough cash that I can gain entry to the Shinobi Thieves. Because if those guys can help me out, then it's going to be quite the boon. Yeah, Slick is just cranking out them, ba them bandanas. Honestly, it might be safe for her to go into the town. Now, what I'm probably going to do, because she only looks like a slave by 1%, I'm just going to keep things going, and I'm going to see if, um... Discovered Port South? How did I discover Port South? Okay. I'm going to keep things going. I'm going to try to get enough cash to... Joined the thieves. Oh, hey, that stinks. That was the one who wanted uh, revenge. I might get her to join me as well. One thing I'm trying to do is to get on the good side of the rebel farmers, but that's hard because every time they see me, they try to beat the crap out of me and steal my food and eat my dog. But see, they're more or less in the right. Because they're, they're fighting against the corruption of the, the nobles. Which, fair enough, I'm going to be dealing with that myself eventually. But, stay hungry. And I'm trying not to aggravate them because one thing I do know is that... Um, oh, you need to make more bandanas. Or bandanas. But yeah, one thing I do know is that, um... <sighs> what am I getting at here? The anti-slavers. The anti-slavers. The crowd that I actually want to, you know, get in good with. If you are on really bad terms with the rebel farmers, I think the anti-slavers will try to kill you on site. Because while the rebel farmers aren't quite as altruistic as the anti-slavers are, they are still very much against the nobles in the United Cities. They don't seem like they're as against slavery in general as uh, the anti-slavers are, but, you know. Well, let's have a chat with Stinks. Okay, so she's talking about how, um, yeah. Show them what fear really is. Talk about bandits. So you want to be a killer? Your family, do you think they'd want that life for you? They told me never to back down. My dad fought them to the la at his last. My mother never looked away when they put her to the blade. I won't run. Not anymore. I'll break every one of them. It's the right thing to do. Sound like you're battle ready. Join my team. We could use a strong set of arms. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready and eager. It's only I need some cash to pay for my bed in the flop house. Three thousand will clear the bill. Then I can ship out. Okay, she's costing cash, but you know what? Screw it. We'll have her come with me. Done. Just don't lose your humanity and all that bloodlust. Do I, do I want to keep her name Stinks? What else can I call her except Stinks? That's a pretty terrible name.
You know what? Let, let, let's keep it similar, except not quite. Fragra. As in fragrant. <laughs> Because I, I, I just I just can't have somebody named Stinks a member of the crew, I'm sorry. Alright, first things first, lady. That sword, you're selling it. That's not our way. You can also buy yourself a couple of pieces of food, and you can start mining to start recouping some of the money. That you just spent. Slick can start making gear for. We should be able to make back that money pretty quickly, though, all the same. Because, again, Slick is um, quite the money maker he is. So, let's start making... Hmm. I don't want her to have exactly the same stuff as everybody else. Does she have anything on her feet? She doesn't. Okay, well, let's definitely make her some wooden sandals. I think I'll make her a rag shirt, much like Slick, and give her a turban instead of a tackle must. And, um... Hmm. Yeah, still may as well make her gee pants and gee as well. Fuck it. And then we'll go back to the bandanas for everybody else. Now, the only thing is, I'm running low on cloth again, so I need to go buy some more. It's her stats, anyway. Yeah, just ones and everything. Pretty soon these two are going to have to head back because they're just loaded down with way too much crap. That was the thing. What are they doing for food? They should still have loads of food, I think. Child's getting pretty hungry though. I'll tell you what, let's send Fade back because I can store some of the iron there and she can go drop off some food for uh, the dog. And her strength should increase because she's carrying so much crap. She's carrying just all the crap. Wait a minute, didn't you make some wooden, wooden sandals? I thought I told you to make some wooden sandals. Did he not? Urban Gee Pants Gee, okay, maybe I didn't. Okay, okay, there we go. Then bandanas. See, what I'm probably going to do is I'll probably get uh, Bone Shaw and the crew head off to Bass and I'll leave Slick back here. 
have him keep working on stuff. Now that's only a small copper node, isn't it? Yeah, I can only have one person work on that at a time. Meaning I should probably just have Boneshaw head on out to pick up all the iron that those two are working on out there. So you head back to the old village. Look at her slowly stomp her way over. She's filled out quite considerably from when I, um, when I found her, though. I mean, that's what happens when you're not starving to death. Standard grade, that's not bad. So I think I'll put some meat in this container here. Yeah. Plop the iron in there as well. Go and pick up pick it up when he gets here. You no, know, the heat has very nearly died down for fade too, which is nice. Because you're running along, you just see random blood stains in the desert sometimes. Now he's made a fairly high grade bandana, but I think I'm just going to give her that all the same. I'll have Fujin run back with the uh, iron too, for no other reason than just even that little bit of going with his pockets full will help increase his strength a little bit more. Increased strength is key, don't you know? Look, random wooden sandals. More random wooden sandals is probably from people the slavers took, whipped off their boots, put them in shackles. Jerks that they are. Is he carrying anything? No, he's not carrying anything to leave for them, but... There's Fujin, slowly making his way over. So we can give her this stuff. Also, night has fallen, so I might try to sneak in and see if I can break any more people out. Because once I start heading them on over to Bast, what I might end up doing is I might um, have a little look see, see if I can break anybody else out of the stone camp along the way.
as we'll have a bunch of run here too so we can grab whatever iron they've mined. Oh, there's a bandana there too that Slick should pick up. Kinda got thrown on there after his inventory got full up. So he can head on back to town. Even though I'm not going to be using much in the way of weaponry, I do want to get some space so I can actually set up some weaponsmithing too. Gotta make my uh, clubs and staffs, don't you know? Staves? Staves, I believe, is the correct terminology for that, isn't it? to get them steves wait why was I making the gee because she's not going to be wearing it oh well I guess I'll just sell it now it's... we're too far along in the um in the process. We're too far along in the process to stop making it now. Um, bone shells under attack. From what? And Hunter? Why is he, why is he gunning for me? Well, he gave up. <laughs> Whatever happened, he gave up. I guess he assumed I was an escape slave or something. So we'll take these copper too so I can sell them. There's light in the distance. Who may it be? Getting hungry again? Come on, man. Go feed that dog, Fujin. something else I was having them do while I was over here. Um, I actually had them try to harvest this stuff and get some water out of those wells. Thing is, because I think they technically belong to people. Technically? Even though nobody's living here. I couldn't actually get any resources out of them. Which is odd, but alright.
Almost there. He's way down with all that iron. It's taking him forever to get over there. Martial arts bindings, that's what I was trying to make. That, that, that's what I thought the gi were. Never mind. Alright, so uh, let's get rid of all that. There, and make some of those. Even though I'm probably going to have her use a weapon at some point, but still. We'll have uh, Bonechaw grab the copper off of her and bring that in for selling purposes as well. He's got a bunch of fabrics on him, that's where he's going. Because like ditching resources, what resources? Honestly, I might just take Fade and Fujin and Molskolfos <clears throat> with me when I am. Um, when I go see what I can do over in Bass, I'll leave Fragra back here. So I'm gonna sell that. Bring that out to her. Yeah, I think I'll leave her back here with uh, Slick. That way they can keep. You know, she can keep mining copper and stuff to get a little bit of extra cash and uh, run back and forth to get material for him and do some research. Seeing as I've got that research bench there. Now that being said, seeing as how it's currently, uh, well, I mean, nah, I was going to break in to see if I could uh, <clears throat> save anybody from the slave pens here, but I don't think, well, A, it, I'm not even sure if there's anybody in there, and B, Don is breaking. But hey, let's run over and have a look all the same, just in case. Doesn't look like there's anybody here. Skullfos is still only a pup, but he has been increasing in his skills as he's been getting older, so. And he's been into a, he's been in a few tussles as well, so that kinda helps. A 
Okay, perfect. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're s starting to, you know, we're, we're kind of going to get ready now to begin our sojourn. Like I said, I want to wait though to see if I can gain enough money to gain access to the Shinobi Thieves Guild. Because that will kind of help me out in the long run. Go for hungers again. Send Fade over to deal with that. leave all the meat and iron and stuff up here because I'm still probably going to use this place. Because <laughs> who knows, what I might end up doing is I might have Slick and um... I might have Slick and Fragra try to free some more slaves up in this way while the others are trying to do what they can down in Bast. We'll see. It's that guy that's got a bounty on his head that nobody seems to want to do anything about. Oh shit, who's trying to attack Fade? Starving vagrants. You know what? Let's see if these two can actually take them on. Let's see if we can get some action shots. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm too fast. I also like how he's swinging that weapon, but he's clearly not even holding it in his hand. Not a bad one. God, do they actually have any bandages? They don't. They don't have any bandages. I'm gonna have to send uh, Boneshaw up here.
Okay, we should be good now. I doubt they can withstand the attack of three of us. All the same, Boneshaw does need to come up here to heal them. This crowd, they're not getting any sympathy from me, though. I'm not healing these, these guys. It's a little better than the one she has. Skullfos can hang out with them while they're doing their thing up here, just in case. Yeah, I think it might be time for them to come home now in that case. Time we get up here, Fade should be in the clear. Playing dead, you say? I am running low on medical supplies, though, all the same. work as a unit. up the dog and let's get out of here. <laughs> These guys to their fate. By the time we get back, um, well, hell, by the time we even get back to the ruined farm here, Fade is probably going to be, well, she's probably going to fade, haha, -ha, from the memories of the slavers, so we can head back into town without much trouble.
Oh, also, I can't remember his name, but the guy that I found that I, um, you know, <laughs> broke out of his shackles, healed him up, and tried to get him to rest so he would uh, recover. I can't remember his name. He was another Sheik. Eventually, I dragged him down here and popped him into this camp bed I set up. As soon as he got better, he got up and buggered off. Where to? I have no idea. Let's take some of the raw meat that I can give, uh... So I can give Skull folks. Come to think of it, I think there's some building material here as well, as long as some, uh, along with some iron plates. I'll take the building material at least. Yeah. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of running back and forth. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of running back and forth with building materials if I want to if I want to build up bass because I'm not sure where the closest place to get building materials would even be. You know what, it's going to take them a while to heal like this anyway, so here's what we're going to do. I'll carry... I'll probably carry Fujin for part of the way. And Fade, even though her leg is fucked up, she can carry Skullfos. At least this way they'll get them to have their strength be raised. And hopefully we won't run into any hassles along the way. Needs more cloth. <laughs> Got a long ways to go. If we're gonna be heading back to uh, Heft, though. Same with the town, right? Yeah, Heft. After she does this, I might send her in to start researching. And once they get to about the halfway mark, I think I might have them switch around and have, um... Ujin do the carrying. We'll see. I like how that skimmer apparently wanted to kill us, and then it thought better of it. I'm happy that it thought better of it, because it would probably be able to slaughter the works of us. I 
I don't need to be dealing with that right now. Prior to leaving town, I'm going to want to stock up on stuff like, um, we'll probably get, actually buy some more building materials and, uh, first aid kits and food. Is that? Oh, oh, law farmers. Although they appear to have given up immediately, which is nice. I'm not going to argue with that. That's roughly halfway. Let's stop and... And away we go. Again. <laughs> Great bandanas, man. Make a shitload of money off that stuff. It's nice not being broke. Started off being pretty broke. Right now, we're doing pretty good, though. It's going to take us so long to get there. <laughs> well, once Fragro is done, um... Once Fragro is done with the research, I might actually send her on down to carry somebody. Make this go a little bit faster. does help increase her strength skills, certainly, but, I mean, she needs her strength increased too, so. Oh, so does Slick for that matter, but you know. He has more important things to be doing.
Logan and Dean Hop. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> Is he going? Oh, ditching resources. Because he still has fabric. Alright. Tell you what, he, he can keep running, seeing as how he's got fade. Skullfos can run the rest of the way himself. getting somewhere slowly but surely definitely need to get Fade and Fujin on a bed so they can heal up a bit faster I do love that the best way to make money early on in this way is just to flood the market with bandanas early on. It's the highest profit to cost. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's pop her in a bed so she can heal up for our journey. Read with fade. Alright, I may as well send Boneshaw over to see if we can actually gain entry with the, uh, the thieves now. What other beneficial research can I do here? King probably wouldn't hurt, so let's learn some of that. So you want in on the shinobi, eh? The guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. 
You're nothing. Nothing a few cats can't handle. You can join for a fee. That's it. I don't have to complete a test or prove myself or something. Do I look like I got time for handing out busy work? Nah, this is the business. This is a business we're running, not a social club. Just a one-time membership fee. Ten thousand cats. What we get in return for all that money? Get yourself allies. We have hideouts like this one in lots of major towns. We catch each other's backs. We watch each other's backs. Shinobi thieves stick together. I love that I'm paying for um, uh, beds in the bar, <laughs> and I'm getting free beds now, but whatever. Safe haven for you and you to rest and recover. We have specialist training equipment to use. You can sell your stolen items to our fence, and he also sells some hard-to-find specialist equipment at a huge discount. Well, hell, if that's the case... You can run on over here with him now, then. Classic Surgeon. I don't really need his skills at the moment. I do, however, want to talk to you. New member, eh? Well, unless you actually enjoy the inside of a jail cell and knock that shifty look off your face. I can spot you a mile off. Anyway, down to business. What do you got for me? I'll show you. Let's trade. I was hoping that they'd have some other stuff there, but I mean... A thieves' backpack probably wouldn't be a bad thing to have either. I'll take that. Might even take the small one too. There we go. Skull folks can go hang out with Slick for now. Well, now I just gotta wait till daybreak so I can buy some more supplies. And then we'll send uh, three of my goons off. Well, I mean, three of them plus Skull folks, I guess. Well, since look out to uh, do some mining on account of the fact that he's out of fabric to use. Can't buy any anywhere else until the shops open up again. Fades back on her feet. she shouldn't be because she's not fully healed yet. Let's do a little sneaky sneak. See if there's anybody in here needs saving. <laughs> not very sneaky, am I? The answer is no. It doesn't look like there's anybody in here. Oh well. Can't do much of anything about that. I like how I can just straight up buy that. 
That's probably going to cause all kinds of problems, but I can buy it. There's an iron deposit over there. Let's send uh, Bone Shaw to mine that and we'll just wait. Wait until dawn. And then we'll gear up and get ready to go. Gonna need to wait at least that long for uh, Fujin to get back on his feet anyway. bed yet, Fujin. Hey, does the Ella send her over to hang out with him while he's recuperating? Long enough. So we need to buy food, we need to buy bandages, we need to buy, um, fabric. Let's buy a couple more meat wraps, a bunch more dried meat. Okay, they got bandages. Not not fantastic first aid stuff, but some first aid stuff. Oh, Fujin has a bunch of iron on him too, I didn't realize. And Fade's got a pile of meat as well. Okay.
Anyway, let's have Bonechild run up and buy some, uh, buy some bandages. And then we can go on our amazing journey. And hopefully we won't all die. How's Slick doing for food, anyway? He doesn't have any! Okay, well, alright, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> well, he can probably buy some for himself once he gets some stuff made here. We'll see. I'll let him worry about himself. We're gonna need a bit more than that. That being said, Fujin has some, uh... right there. Ujin has some iron that I can sell, so. Oh. He's also got a club that he doesn't need. So I'll equip the two of them with those thieves' backpacks once I get ready to leave. Divvy out some food and some bandages, and we should be good to go. Oh yes, building material. I might want to buy some more of that too, but we'll see. You know what? That should be enough. For now, at least. I'll just wait and make a little bit more cash so I can, uh... Buy some building material. That should do for now. We got a start at least. Alright, so it's better to meet at this gate if we're gonna head in that direction. She just ate her last piece of food as well, but she can head back into town and grab some more for herself later. I love that I got him like nearly halfway up <laughs> to his armor smithing. Once I build up some more capital again, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to be on the lookout for um, blueprints of things that I can make. So, we fade this one, and she can take two of those. She's doing pretty good for food, so I'll give her... She can keep those. We 
Hujun can have the big one. Give him a couple of bandages. Alright, so let's just hope that's enough food to last us for now. And um, if we need to buy any more, there should be a couple of places we can stop. I mean, there's that one spot here. Uh, Drin. We can swing into Stoat on the way down, too. Yeah, I think we'll head towards the stone camp, then we'll head south to Stoat, and then we'll head up that way to Bast. And that should be the route we take. Who's this guy carrying? Yeah, starving vagrant. Before we uh, head out, I'll have Slick do his thing, which is to say, sell this stuff. Find our piece of meat. Alright, so I think the best thing to do is to separate them out into different squads, that way I can, uh... I'll just call this one the Expedition. And this will be the, uh... Production Squad, I guess we'll call them. Okay. So Fragra and Slick can stay in this one, in the Expedition Squad. This way it'll just be a lot easier for me to decide who's going where. Alright, so let's head over to the Stone Camp. By the time we get there, hopefully it'll be nightfall and maybe we can break out a new friend along the way. Actually, before I do that, I need to test something. It might be better if I just do this and have them follow him. But he might end up hauling ass <laughs> ahead of them. Yeah, he's going to end up hauling ass ahead of him. Yeah, let's just uh, have them all move together. Forget. There. At least that way they'll all be going in the one direction. <laughs> Co team! <laughs> I was going to call them the the Shek Squad Reborn, but at least one of them isn't a Shek, so.
Oh shit, I think I may have accidentally started getting them to follow. Her, her, her. Alright, so who's trying to kill us? Seemed like somebody was trying to gun for us. Okay, those are manhunters. I think we're going to try to avoid the manhunters, just in case. I don't think they're going to try to... tackle a group of us this large, but... normally they pick off... solitary people. And are adamant that they are slaves, but hey, you don't wanna... you don't want to test that. Ah, oh, hello, Rolls. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. Well, thank you for staying, at least stopping by to say hey. I always appreciate it. And hopefully you enjoy your dinner, good sir. Stop making stuff slick. So we've got a ways to go before we get out to that stone camp, but like I said, hopefully by the time we get out there it'll be night and I might be able to break out another slave, somebody else to join us. <clears throat> I'd like to at least get the bass before I stop playing this tonight. I'm not going to be playing it for anywhere near as long as I did yesterday. At least I hope I'm not. I can't. <laughs> I have too much stuff I need to do. that nothing out here has tried to kill us yet. Life caravan. Don't go into the mist, Shek. The mists are cursed. Cursed! You go in, you never come back out. Unless you have Hive Lantern with you. We have one you can have, if you want to go there. Not free, though. Mists? Where? North of Vane, north of the Hive. No Hives call it the Death Yard. It's full of ancient treasures, but you need a lantern to travel through. And if I don't have a lantern? I already told you no Hive, you won't come back out. Okay, how much? 2,500 cats. This is a good price, human horn. Can't put a price on safety. I don't have that much money. This is a special discount, human horn. This is a good deal. Here, take a look at it. I honestly don't have enough money. No more discount for you. 2,500 cats. Let's finish this, Shek. I'm going. Take a hint already. You're going? How rude. Why would you not accept our offer? So damn annoying. Draw a sword. No. We gave you special price as well. Just for you. You insult the queen. Curse you, human. The mist will swallow you whole. You'll die. I legitimately don't have the money for that. Although, I guess we may as well see what he's selling. Buy a couple more pieces of building material. In our standard first aid kit. Why not?
high grade bandanas to be able to make a bit of cash off of that. Did they stop? Outlaw farmers don't have a beef with them, but if I stray too close to them, they're probably going to try to kill and eat me. Well, kill and eat the dog, at least. That slaver was trying to break into that noble house? Why? <laughs> what was the point of that? Alright, so here's the plan, folks. We're gonna hang out in the desert until nightfall. And then... Bonechaw. I keep wanting to call him Dranik. It's not Dranik, it's Bonechaw. Dranik is the orc. What is this guy doing? Why is he trying to break down the door? And why aren't the guards stopping him? Anyway, we're all just going to lay low out here. And when the time comes, Bonechaw's gonna go in there and see who he can free, if anybody. Before night falls though, let's send Fragra in to sell off that stuff and I'll get her to buy some books so we can do some more research. Gotta keep the research up. Got to skip my book learning on. Work is freedom. You are nothing without work. Move faster! Bunch of dicks. What's that? Oh, it's a pack bowl belonging to the nomads. Alright. What's he doing now, anyway? 52, not bad. Almost 53. Honestly, pretty soon it might be a bad idea to um, have him make the gear that uh, he and Frag are wearing again. To see if I can get some higher quality goods out of it. Actually, let's buy some of that cotton, too. That way I can research how to grow it myself. Same thing with the cactus.
Definitely need her to go in and buy some food for herself, though. Slaves are still out working. I don't think it's until the wee hours of the morning they're allowed to go back into the barracks. Why does her blood keep wavering? But the blood. All right, so. I need to learn wheat straw farming before I can learn cactus farming. Okay. I can learn cotton farming though. Defensive walls that would keep all those bastard bandits out. <laughs> Fair enough. See if I can get Slick up there to buy some more fabric before they close, otherwise I'm going to have to have him just go mining again. Nope, they're still out in the, uh, wilds. Is Fuji not a food? I do love that I've just decided to bring Fade back to this hellhole that I brought her out of, that I saved her from. We have to wait outside this place a lot longer than I thought we would. Also, that slaver just destroyed the noble's door. <laughs> and yet he has not say, uh, faced any repercussions for it. Amazing. Simply amazing. So mad you just want to destroy your boss's front door.
can I learn here? That probably wouldn't hurt. Alright, is it time? Also, there's a town immediately to my north. Chobatai, okay. Well, maybe I'll hit up Chobatai first. Nah, nah, I'll stick with the original plan. Go to Stoat. Pick up any extra food and stuff I might need from there. Okay. See if I can get somebody. Everybody else can stay out here. Let's save it in case things go sideways. So honestly, the main reason I'm saving it is because I want to see if I can go in here now. Or if that's going to be considered trespassing. It's considered trespassing. I'm gone. See if I can break somebody out of the same place I broke uh, Fade out of. Wonder if Eon is still here somewhere. Foreign. Soto. Benji. Sue. Wall. Truth. Set. Max. Spade. I do like Truth's name. Let's see if I can break Truth out. How did you do that? Skill. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Okay, um, I wasn't expecting this. Let's let them deal with it. And while they're dealing with that, we need to go help Skullfos, because he's dying. I should have stuck closer to the walls. If I have the time, I think I might actually have a little scout around to see if I can find Eon, because, I don't know, I failed to rescue him once. Well, someone's going to have to pick Skullfos up when we leave. Maybe Fade. She's got the less amount of strength. Wow, it's taking forever to break her out.
Any others? God damn. Well, I was kind of hoping she'd allow me to help her, but, um... I guess not. I guess not. I don't know what the hell her plan is, but it ain't gonna work. Alright, who else we got in here? Oh, that's another person named Truth. Roto. Hole. Maybe this was the original Truth I was uh, I was talking to. Well, let's see if we can break this Truth out and see if she doesn't run off on me. At least this, uh, this cell looks like it's gonna be easier to pick. I mean, you were out, but suddenly you went back in for some reason and locked yourself back in. Okay, I think if I bring her outside the walls and drop her, they're not going to bother chasing me. Alright, let's bring her a ways out. Yeah, she's gone. Okay. Well, if that's the way she wants to play it. Doesn't want to be friends. Let's see if I can break out somebody who does want to be friends. in here okay there's the other truth she's dying unfortunately well I can't let that be let's heal her up make sure she doesn't die at least I'm not going to try to take her out of here though because if I do she's definitely gonna end up dead out in the desert so <laughs> let's just leave her be once I make sure she's not gonna bleed out in this cage Click, scratch, Jakku, another scratch, Mao, Nutto. Hon honestly, Eon's probably dead, because if they did the same thing with him that they did with Truth when I got him out, then 
he probably bled to death in a cell somewhere. You know what? Maybe we can get a Hiver in the mix. See if we can break this guy out. It's a tough lock, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, well, he's gone, um, and he ran before I was able to pick him up. That's unfortunate. Maybe we break out a Sheck Lady? Yeah, let's break out a Sheck Lady. See if she'll be smart enough not to, um... <laughs> get this shit kicked out of her. I gotta leave. Or, maybe not? Nah, he's gonna keep following me, isn't he? It's getting pretty, pretty soon, they're... Pretty soon they're gonna actually rouse them to go to work, though. I might not be able to rescue anybody. I got that one lady out. But whether she actually escapes or not, she might end up dead out in the desert somewhere. Well, at least they patched Nutto up. And he, Nutto is trying to escape on his own. More power to him. I don't know how well this is going to go, but more power to him. Running out of time. I don't pick this soon. She's not getting out. And I can't wait around for the next night. Okay, that's it. Crap. <laughs>
see if we can break somebody out of this house again. There's another hiver. Let's see if we can get that hiver instead. Damn, I'd like to try to rescue somebody. Alright, I don't have time to try to get anybody else. So let's run the hell out of here. We might have a new recruit, buds! His name is Soto. He's a bug man and I love him. So let's run away as out into the dunes so they don't immediately catch us. Oh, there's some skimmers over there, though. Runaway is down in the direction of Stoat. Wait, why are we here? Like you... What? I feel like we're... We went a wide berth around that for some reason? I don't... don't understand. Anyway, whatever. might be far off enough that I might be able to plop uh, Soto down and see if he wants to join up. Is he going? <sighs> okay. Fine. He's just walking straight back. Why is he doing that? I don't... Okay, whatever. Okay, hold up. Fade can pick up Skullfo. She needs more of the strength boost than Fujin does. Okay, so so far, um, my liberation of the slaves has not been a hundred percent successful. Things could be a lot better.
I like how he keeps calling me a new customer, despite the fact I keep walking in here and unloading a shitload of bandanas on him. <laughs> Like, must buy more fabric. Well, I was hoping to get the crew out to Stoat before I stopped playing this, but I actually do need to stop fairly soon. So at the very least, we'll get them into Stoat, maybe resupply, and then start heading them towards Bast. Need to buy more food, if nothing else. Have I been in here? Maybe. There appears to be a sizable slave market. I don't know how I feel about that. should stop in the center of town for a moment. Um, I'll have Boneshaw do the, uh, the running about. So we'll sell off all these talents. So I will sell you these talons. Turtleneck, rusty chain mail. I'm looking for a leather dust coat. Because that is a pretty decent thing for... It's a pretty decent thing for uh, martial artists to use. However, that does not seem to be the case. Uh, best place to buy food would be in a bar, so let's run out over there. Should time me over again for now. And uh, we got anybody interesting in here? 
anyone who might want to join up, and I like their story, basically. <laughs> who are you? Gulp, gulp, gulp. Here to drink away lost memories too, Romer? Or are you here to recruit? Both, you? Both. Used to be own my own bar in the Outlands for weary travelers. Called it the Punchy Gar until Shek Barbarians took over. But hey, I thank myself lucky that I escaped in one piece. Even if I did lose my beloved bar. I just damn miss brewing up my homemade special sauce for the regulars. So you're here to find a squad? I am. If you need to cook, then you're in luck, traveler. And, but nobody wants a cook around here. They just want hired thugs, am I right? It's interesting, but I don't want to spend that much money on there. Who are you? Hey, you there. I need employment. I can fix you up, but I really need someone to sponsor my research. Sponsor? But you're just a kid. And you're an adult. A stupid one at that. What could you know about deciphering generator core wiring, salt distillation, wound purifiers, and even building designs? I figured that stuff out at ten. What did you do when you were ten? Don't answer that. Just promise to keep me safe and you'll get all the benefits of my work and my stellar interpersonal skills. So you want to do research? I can appreciate a good brain. How about you come with us? Need some funds first. Kind of broke some stuff in a shop here. I think she is actually one of the unique recruits, and she does start with a pretty decent research skill, so maybe. Here you go, let's get to work. Yeah, see, her med medical skill is actually pretty high to begin with, as is her science skill. my scar. Rude to stare, you know. But since I'm in a cheery mood, buy me a drink and I'll tell you how I got it. Honestly, opened a can with my sword. Slipped and nearly took my eye out. Usually, though, I tell people I fought a ninja lord or something. I mean, I do Twilight as a hitman and all. That's messed up. I'm uh, messed up. I'm out. <laughs> Alright, so we have a new friend. Um, she can come with us and help us do researching and engineering in the new place. She is also very tiny. Oh, is she ever so tiny? Is there a fight going on? What the fuck's going on out here? Oh, samurai and rebel, rebel swordsman. Must be a rebel swordsman camp over there. Now, the main thing is, I want to see if there is a slave market here to see if I can break anybody out. There is. Okay. Go hang out by the gates, and I'll have uh, Bone Chaw sneak in to see if there's anybody you can free. Otherwise, we might just truck back along, get the bass, see what we can do. Zumi is just hauling ass. Say it though, Azumi. You're not using that sword. <laughs> also, you get to carry the dog.
Looks like I just missed my chance to save a couple of people. So I just missed my chance to save a lot of people. There must be people to grab from, uh... Oh well. Samurai piece. God, I, I, it's taking every fiber of my being not to just try to wreck those guys right now. But we're not ready for them. Not yet. We got a ways to go yet. Well, if nothing else, let's see if we can actually get to Bass before I stop playing. Still a massive fight going on out here between the samurai and the rebel farmers. <laughs> I'd stop to help, but... I can't get held up right now. The dog is now a teen. Good. He shall get old and strong. A gang of rebel farmers there. I don't think I want to run into them. It's probably going to be a massive racket between them now. Oh well. gain enough money it mightn't be a bad idea to move my um, in-town operations closer over to Stoat instead. Heard this place, whole city wiped out in a single day by the Holy Nation. They roasted the head noble alive in the name of Okram and carted the youngsters off to rebirth. I mean, I hate nobles as much as the next guy, but... But... Actually, he probably deserved it. <laughs> Are they talking to Azumi? You're from the Empire? Well, you found me, but I can't let you live now that you've seen me on the run from the slavers, Outlander. See, I'm not going back to the mines. They grab their weapon. Don't do this. I can help you. No one in this godforsaken land is on the side of a lowly slave. How do I know you won't trick me and send me back to the slave camp? I warn you, I won't go back without a fight. We can help you, trust us, what have you got to lose? Alright, you don't look like the normal Empire type at least. But take me anywhere near a slave camp and I'll kill you. Trust me, I hate slavers just as much as you do. 
Oh, and one of these guys is now with me. Just like that, we've picked up another friend. How well this is going to go, I have no idea. On account of the fact that now I'm starting to get a lot of mouths to feed. Alright, that right there is what's left to Bast. Let's see if I can actually rebuild the place. I like how some of them are like, nope. Okay, so I can indeed buy these buildings, which I think I knew from the beginning, but... The only question is... Yeah, I can't actually build anything outside. Oh, I can over here, though. Interesting. Okay, so I can actually build stuff over here, it looks like, for some reason. But whatever. At the very least, I want to buy some of the houses in here to act as like safe houses and shit, so. Alright, so to start things off, maybe building up this longhouse. That's the only thing I can currently afford by the looks of it. Oh no, I can buy that storm house for much cheaper. And that small shack. Yeah, screw it. Let's buy this storm house here. Okay. 
Can I repair? You know what I should have done? I should have saved it before I did that because I don't know if I can actually repair it. <laughs> that might have been a pile of money wasted. And then it just auto-saved. Yeah, because I've got building materials in my inventory. You would assume that's all I'd need. Okay, I've got to stop playing anyway. I, I, I need to try to figure this out. I, I'm just going to take that loss on the chin if that's if I legitimately cannot repair that. Because I auto-saved far enough back that, you know, that's quite a bit of time. I know it's it, it's possible because like, pe people have done it, but, you know, whatever. We'll see what I can do. Anyway, let's save that and quit now. We've made some decent progress here. Get a lot more combat training in though because I don't think any of my guys be able to handle anybody in a fight currently. So if you happen to stop by to watch I thank you very much for doing so and hopefully we'll find folks to join me again next time but until then as always I wish you a farewell. You have a great night. So long for now.